Boisel and Gary Bettenhausen. Pace car comes off. And Michael Andretti already anticipating the green flag, which flies, accelerates, and pulls away from the rest of the field. Boy, look at the advantage he got on that restart. Oh, he got a run at him, clear back in turn three, Paul. He got about a two-city block head start on him there. For all intents and purposes, this is a one-man race right now. You saw a flash of what looked like smoke there for a second, and we've oh. got an accident. Several cars. Holy smokes. One of the Penske cars. It looks to be Fittipaldi. Emerson. It's Emerson, Emerson. Fittipaldi. Who tags had the been, wall right on that restart. Who'd been running third. He was one of two other cars on the same lap as Michael Andretti. Well, Emil had great fortune on the yellow. He was on the tail end of the lead lap, but was able to close up and get back into contention when the yellow came out. He looks to be all right. He's moving around in there an awful lot. The car doesn't look like it's been up all that bad, Paul. So I imagine Ammo should be able to get popped out unless he's got something sticking his legs in or holding him in, rather. Well, what an unusual Indianapolis 500 this has become. The pole sitter, Roberto Guerrero, has his problem before the start of the race and tags the wall. We've seen an accident like we uh, haven't seen before between Gosh and Stan Fox. This is the view of this situation from Rick Mears on board camera. Mears had up ahead of steam. Whoa, Mears is going to be out of it, too. So Mears, it looks like, got involved with the Crawford car. Yep. Caught a quick glimpse of that Both car Penske as it came cars, around. Both Penske cars put out at the same instant. A single situation and two cars out and the second Bernstein car. Oh, and he was caught. There was absolutely no place to go. In other words, it just was a wedge right into the wall, plus into the green car. Crawford there also. Well, there is an example of when your number is up on this track, your number is up. There's just nowhere to hide on an oval with a big concrete wall around the outside of it. It looked as they came back to green. We saw a lot of dust coming up. The track, of course, they've run very hard on a lot of this track. Yeah. And there you see Emerson's problem. Emerson apparently got into some of the debris of that accident. Yeah, but I think he... There's Roger Penske. Well, he suffered a tremendous loss in the past few seconds. Boy, yeah. I mean, that's his... a lot of loss in just a short time, and you can look at Roger's face and see what his feelings now are. Now, take a look at it again. Okay, there's the first impact, which involved Mears and Crawford, and, and there's fit Emerson fit crashing at the top of the screen. And it would appear that Emma went down there and had a problem unrelated to the other. Unless he ran over some debris. But he wasn't there high. yet. He wasn't at the scene of the accident yet. I don't think he could have been uh, running well, over well debris. Back. See? Look at that. There's impact number one, and now we're going to look at the now upper watch, right. Watch Fittipaldi running rather high. Yep. And comes yep. out from behind that other car. I think he may have just had to lift off really suddenly because of what he saw ahead. There's Rick Mears waving. He's going to be fine. Incredible. It's so far, knock on wood, we don't have a couple of vital reports. Everybody is getting away with what really amounts to automotive carnage. 